In this video, I will show you how you can fill a bowl with marbles using an emitter, collider body and rigid body. First, go to the project settings and change the frame rate to 25, the maximum time to 500 and the preview max time also to 500 frames. It will be a 20 second animation. Create a sphere, change the radius to 1000 and the segments to 100. Make it an editable object by hitting C on the keyboard or pressing this button. Go to the front view, zoom out, select the point mode and the rectangle selection tool. Make sure the option only select visible elements is unchecked. Select the upper part of the sphere and delete it by hitting delete on your keyboard. We have created our own ball. Let's add some material. We will make the ball invisible. So create a new material, call it ball and uncheck all the options except transparency. Now add this material to the ball. So now we can look through the ball. That comes in handy if we want to look at the animation and rename the sphere to ball. Now go to simulate particles and create an emitter. Bring it up and point it towards the opening of the ball, something like this. If you press play, you will see that the emitter produces particles. The next thing we'll do is create a sphere, call it marble and make the radius 30 and give it eight segments and turn on render perfect. That means that the sphere will render perfectly round even though it has only eight segments. Now put the sphere beneath the emitter, select the emitter and turn on show objects. Now when you press play, you will see that the emitter produces marbles. Click with your right mouse button on the ball and select simulation tags, collider body. Select in the same way for the marble, simulation tags, rigid body. The collider object will hold all the marbles that fall into the ball. So press play. As you see, the marbles are somehow blocked by an invisible wall. In order to solve that, go to the collider body tag, collision, go to the shape, and select static mesh. Replay the timeline and now the ball will hold the marbles. Select the emitter and go to the emitter tab. Make it 500 by 500 and adjust the position so the marbles won't fall outside of the ball. Something like this. Now let's fill the cup with marbles. Go to the particle tab. The birth rate editor determines how much particles there will be created per second in the editor. The birth rate renderer determines how much particles there will be created while exporting the video in picture viewer. I will keep it the same and uh, make it 1400. The stop emission setting determines on which frame the emitter will stop producing particles. Let's change this to 450. The lifetime determines after how many frames the particle will disappear. Keep it at 500. And the speed determines how fast the particles will be emitted. Let's boost it up to 4000. Click play and see what will happen. The next thing we will do is create a material for the marble. We will call it marble. Uh, the color can be dark blue or something else. Choose something you like. Let's add a reflection. Click on it and change the texture to Fresno and that's it for the marble material. Drag the material to the marble and let's see what we have. Well, it can use some improvements. The last material will be an HDRI sky. Create a sky and make a new material. You can download this HDRI image via the link below in the description. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to make a great HDRI image using Cinema 4D. But for now, let's make another material, name it HDRI and check the specular. Click on the color and add the HDRI image.
drag the material to the sky and render to see how it looks. Click with the right mouse button on the sky and select Cinema 4D Text Compositing. Go to the tab Tag and uncheck Scene by Camera. Do exactly the same with the ball. Now play the video, render it and see the result. As you see, we have a totally black background. Now go back to the HDRI material and bring the mix strength back to 5%. Make the color black. I think this looks a little bit better. In order to increase the quality of the animation drastically, go to the render settings, click on anti-aliasing and go from geometry to best with a min level 2x2 and the max level 4x4. The higher these settings, the better the quality, but the longer it will take to render. Go back to the render settings to output and you can change the Y to 90, 20 and the height to 1080, the frame rate to 25, the frame range to all frames. I prefer to save the animation as a Photoshop sequence and after that I can edit it in After Effects. Well this was it for now, in the next tutorial I will add some camera movement and I let all the marbles be smashed to the ground. My name is Ferdy Korpshoek and I will see you next time.